NBA 2K18 is already completely different from NBA 2K17. A group of people already got to play this game extremely early and have already said that there is going to be so many more less ankle breakers than NBA 2K18. So you dribble gods, you ankle breakers, you ankle takers, beware. In NBA 2K18, there is not going to be that many ankle breakers. Uh, according to these guys now as you guys are gonna see right here on the top of your screen This is what they said they said that they played this game and the whole entirety they played of this game I don't know how long they played this game for maybe a, an hour maybe a couple hours I honestly do not know that answer to that question, but they said they did not experience They did not experience not one single ankle breaker animation How do you play a game for hours and not experience one ankle breaker animation? I'm pretty sure you guys knew what you were doing when you were playing the game I'm pretty sure they were playing with at least Kyrie Irving, maybe a Steph Curry. I'm pretty sure those guys could get ankle breakers on almost anybody when you're playing this game. So that's kind of a, a, a red flag. I'm not going to say it's a red flag. A lot of people think that the ankle breaker animations happen too often in NBA 2K17. Let me know your opinion about that in the comment section below. Do you guys feel that ankle breakers are too uh, common or they happen too often at the park? Let me know in the comment section below. Would you guys like the ankle breakers to be toned down? Because as it looks like right now in NBA 2K18, K18 that is going to be the case ankle breakers are not going to be as frequent they're going to be a little bit more rare to get now the next thing that they also said was that drill moves are actually a lot different this year now you're going to be able to tell the difference when someone knows how to dribble the ball really good between someone who does not know they are moving away from the animation based system that means you are not going to be stuck in dribble animations that you do not want to do and instead they are more going towards a branching system and that means you are going to be able to link up moves so that pretty much means the drill moves are going to be kind of similar to nba 2k17 except they're going to be a little bit different they're going to be tweaked a little bit you're not going to be just solely based off of animations when you are dribbling the ball this just means that people People who are good at create are creating moves at the top of their heads that you're gonna be able to make up moves like crazy when you're playing this game NBA 2k18 because at the last sentence it says that people who are creative with their drill moves never looked repetitive that pretty much just means that you can you are gonna be able to tell the skill difference when you see someone dribbling or handling the ball in NBA 2k18 now the next thing that they said was that it was hard to stay in front of ball handlers that actually knew what they were doing now in NBA 2k18 they already tweaked the defense now in NBA 2k17 you can totally Totally tell the difference between NBA 2K16. In my opinion, I feel like 2K16 had a better defensive. They, they just had better defense for the park. I'm, I'm talking about the park, of course. Um, then 2K17. 2K17, it just felt awkward. We always felt like we were sliding around the court left and right, and we really couldn't stay in front of our opponent. So it's going to be interesting to see what in 2K18, what they decide to do with this defense because they already saying that you cannot spam that X button to try and get steals, and you're not going to be able to stay in front of ball handlers as easy as you were in previous 2Ks. Now, the last thing that these guys said was that people, or let's just say archetypes. Now, let's try a lockdown defender that people with high steal ratings in NBA 2K18 are gonna get more steals. Now this is kind of kind of confusing to me. Now they just literally they just previously said it's hard to stay in front of ball handlers. You're gonna be uh you're gonna be penalized if you spam that X button try to constantly get steals. And then but on the flip side it says that you're gonna get more steals and then in previous 2Ks when it comes to 2K18. So it's gonna be interesting to see how they're gonna balance all this out. So they're pretty much just saying that uh, lockdown defenders are going to be able to rip you, but if they play you dumb, then you're going to be able to blow by them. And I feel like that's actually a good, a good balance for 2K18. That's that's how it should be. If a lockdown defender just spams that X button in NBA 2K18, you're going to be able to blow by them. When in, in 2K17, if they spam that X button, they'll they'll just rip you. So I feel like that's actually a good step in the right direction. Ankle breakers are not as common in NBA 2K18 than they are in previous 2Ks. Let me know how you guys feel about that. Do you guys want more ankle breakers or less ankle breakers? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, it has been your boy, Emperor Mufasa. I'll be keeping you up to date with this NBA 2K18 news. Do not forget to hit that like and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!